Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You got me, I guess. Holy, that was insane. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the next commentary. Today, we are on the PBE, which is a place where you can test out the new Riot changes before they go through because I saw some videos some other YouTubers made about a change that we don't know if this is a, a bug or not. I feel like it's not. It does feel like they probably are doing this intentionally. Your W Evolve says, it still says Evolved, that it reduces the cooldown. That's not actually true. W Evolve now makes it so it goes through everything. Your W will go through minions, it will go through dragons, it will go through champions and apply plasma to them. And the cooldown is removed. So no longer can you hit people over and over again with your W to get um, your plasma detonation. I tried it inside a practice tool. I built as much CDR as I possibly could. Uh, I got like 120 CDR full build and an AP build. And the cooldown is about six and a half seconds uh, to six seconds, which is the very, very shortest amount of time on the ability. And that means that your second skin, which only lasts four seconds, uh, you will never be able to apply the plasma because it's up to five stacks. When you detonate it, it does a bunch of damage. That ever again with only W. But the upside is that your W now goes through anything when you have, uh, obviously, the Evolve. And that means that you can hit multiple champions with it. And it also means that um, you're able to look for special angles when people are doing dragon and stuff. You can shoot it through dragon to get them and stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing. And there's other things too. AP Kaisa now has wave clear. My W literally is going to be able to go through. Oh, one more hit for detonation. Um, my W is going to be able to go through minions to wave clear. So what we're actually going to do is that we can make a brand new Kaisa build because the reason why you built Merman in the past is to solve her uh, her mana issue, but that didn't necessarily mean that you needed it because your W needed the like bonus damage and stuff. Uh, and also, your only wave clear was your Q, and you needed Q evolve for wave clear pretty badly. I, I, so we're gonna try out making it so I don't do that. I started with a Doran's Ring. We're gonna build Ludens because I still think we might have man issues if we don't build a tier item. But now we can do W Max, and when I finish my one item, I'll be able to clear minions for the rest of the game, I believe. Um, so should be good. She's gonna uh, flash in a straight line away from me. I just use my W in a straight line. Because we're playing on PBE, I have no idea who we're playing against. Uh, sometimes I make custom games. This isn't one. This is just like a normal game. There isn't really ranked on this. There is no such thing as ranks because it's a literally a test server to try things out. So that's also probably why they're playing Rel Mid. But um, hopefully the game will last a long time. I want to showcase like a full build Kaisa to see how it feels because this is my very first attempt of it. I know I'm being ganked here. I'm just going to walk away, try to get that one minion. And uh, we'll back off. I don't know if they changed something about Rel, and that's the reason why she's playing at mid lane. Uh, this change, PBE changes sometimes are pretty difficult to find because most of the time that you you see the changes are because of YouTubers making something or because uh, of of Twitter posts. But the person that I look at, who normally does the Twitter posts, has not said anything about this change, so. Yeah, it's it's pretty new. Gonna try to land W on her. How uh, the Kaisa passive works is that if you detonate it when you have the five stack, it does percent missing. When we are full build, it's gonna deal about 60% of their missing HP. So if they're below half, they should basically instantly die. Uh, that's one of the upsides to playing Kaisa. And that's also why I think that this change isn't gonna be a... Um, this change probably is not a bug. I think that this is intentional and they might change things about it. Like right now, uh, your W has no reduced effect against minions and anything. So when you hit 
everything, it all deals the same amount, which means that wave clearing could be broken, possibly. Uh, but remember, the cooldown super long. Oh, you're six. No ulti, though? One more auto should do it. Because I have the procs on her, and she is dead. I'm gonna miss the cannon, though. Can't get to that. For the early game, uh, probably your only damage source is going to be trying to get the 5 stack passive. If you can't get the 5 stack passive, your damage is going to be super mediocre. AP Kaisa versus Mages is going to probably become even harder if you're going to try this type of playstyle. Because uh, beforehand, you would maybe be able to try to fight them back with your Q, which is a point and click ability. But now you're leveling up something that literally you have to have them jump on you. So, it, it's good because we're versus melee, but imagine if I was versus, like, an Orianna. Imagine how difficult it would be to land a W versus somebody who's probably always behind minions. Um, so, anyways, uh, the AP ratio on Kai'Sa W is 45%. That's awful, right? Well, Kai'Sa W applies passive. Your passive has a 15% AP ratio, and then it deals a little bit more beyond the first so just consider it like when it's three stacks it's more like a 70 percent ap ratio except for that it's extremely long range it has an 80 ratio also applied onto it and eventually uh we're gonna build nasher's tooth i think nasher's tooth is necessary and uh the nasher's tooth is gonna make it so when we land our w hit we can go in and try to get our uh our hits off because if we can get our hits off Mumu's probably dead here. In fact, I don't even know if I can fight this. Oh. Oh? I can't flash. I'm stuck. Oh, wait. I'm running. Oh, man. I am so dead. Right? Oh. Wow, I can't believe a Mumu's going to sacrifice his life for me, bro. daughter one the one last auto attack did the proc so oh my god that kaisa's here uh i i got like no mana i'm gonna try wing that guy it hit can you kill him can you get him no kaisa wants to kill me no oh my god there's a vi here too <laughs> jeez okay cool she didn't use her ability so i can just farm these how much money do I need for my item? I have malignance, although that isn't really that useful. She's looking for the dive, but I don't really have mana. How low was she? Ooh, she was really low. And we have reached our point, I think. Yep, where our Ludens is purchased. Now is the real testing. When I reach level nine, or even just now, what is gonna happen? with my W. Like, can I clear back wave? It does 260, but remember it applies the plasma. And the plasma is gonna deal 32 plus nine per stack. So it's 32 plus nine plus nine because it applies three stacks. Will it be able to clear it? And you can see the cooldown is 11 seconds. That's a super long time. Uh, that's why I think that people think that this is gonna be super broken and stuff. I don't, I'm not so sure. But as you can see, goes through the whole wave, can wave clear. I am here for whatever this is. Oh, that other Kaisa also has her Shadow Flame up? Oh, look, yeah, she has the same build going. Well, at level 8, I'm able to one-shot the back wave. Not bad. We have Gathering Storm to get even more AP. Uh, for my runes, by the way, I purposely took every single possible good CDR rune for basic abilities. I have Transcendence for CDR. I have Legend Haste for uh, basic ability CDR. It doesn't affect your ultimate, but that doesn't matter. And now, like, we can just wave clear forever. Honestly, this is probably the wave clear is more broken than the damage at this point. Like, this is... 
ridiculous for uh, being able to constantly pressure. I'll just kill that guy again. Oh, okay. Trying to run. Think I will be okay? Goodness, look how much damage that did. I need to get my passives on her. And then my W should finish if I land it. Because uh, I had a couple passives on her. When it detonates, it's already up to 23%. Remember that because I don't build Merman anymore, that means you benefit more from your uh, your passive. If you didn't know, the the previous AP Kaisa, he used to do the Mermana first. Uh, that didn't affect your passive at all. It has no AD ratios. It's only AP. So... I'm sure you can even find a build path that evolves a bunch of stuff. Like, you can go Berserker Greaves Nashers. Uh, I'm probably going to go Nashers Tooth next. And I'm going to not go that uh, build path. But Nashers Tooth thankfully gives us some CDR. That's going to be super helpful. Oh, it's Rod of... It's AP Rel Mid. Well, she's going to get shredded pretty hard. I think that the Nashor's Tooth second or even first item, if this does become like a, a viable strategy, is going to be pretty standard because you can't only rely on W anymore. But my goodness, my damage is nuts. And the wave clear is ridiculous. Other items we're going to go for is like Horizon Focus because we're shooting from far away. That's going to increase our damage. Oh my god, that did a lot. Uh, your teammates apply Plasma on people. So that's the reason why that did so much. And we are so far ahead that honestly I probably should not try as hard. I really want to showcase this build in its entirety because I want to see what the potential is. So I think it would be really good for me to probably die. I'll just go in to uh, kill, but I'll die in return probably. I'll pretend to run away and Well, not pretend. I am literally running away. We'll take it. Whenever I play on PBE, if it's a ch big change... Like the AP vein change, which didn't go through. I, I want to see what it's like at all stages of the game. I want the game to be more even, and I'm kind of winning really hard, so I don't really like that. I want to. I want to get into the team fighting stage, be as a team, see what W feels like when like uh, Baron's happening, because that that is, I think, what's really gonna make this feel even more busted. If the enemy team's trying to do Baron, they're all, like, stacked in pit. Imagine a Kai'Sa W going through and, like, hitting three of them. How ridiculous that would be, right? Anyways, still building Nashers. Not this static. Ignore that. Ignore that. They're all missing. I could get ganked. Or did they... Man, did they leave? I hope they didn't leave the game. But they've been missing for a while. I have my Nashor's Tooth in base, basically. Oh, no, they're here. Okay, good. I mean, my whole entire team is pretty even. The Kaisa top lane is also, like, not weak at all. Ow. Gonna take the turret. And then back away. You see, previously, if I had this build path, I would have zero wave clear, but when I land my W on that guy, my W CD would reset to two seconds, and I could W again, and that would proc this second skin, and you could kill them, like, instantly. 
I would just go in, they would uh, take the 30% missing HP and like instantly die. So that's completely out of the game because of how long the CD is. So you can't really assassinate people anymore. Like, even if I go in now, it's not really... WCD so long. And that's with 52 ability haste with legend haste, too. Mm, I can counter gank this and we'll probably kill everybody. But... Nice. I just don't want the enemy team to FF, man. <laughs> I really... I really don't want them to FF. Just following them on rotation. We have a Nami on our team as well to buff my ability, which is also going to be insane. I'll gladly uh, shove this out, I think. I'll stay bot until everybody ganks me, I think. I got W off, but I die. Not bad. The W spam, I mean, at this point, with only two items, it doesn't feel too long, honestly. I mean, your dual potential isn't that bad with the Nashers. Uh, now, other things that could be super beneficial, Shadow Flame, for instance, would get, just give you way more damage. And when people are low, you're able to just hopefully kill them with the bonus damage. That would be pretty nice. The Horizon Focus, obviously. I don't think you want to build Death Cap until later, personally. Because it's just so damn expensive. So if anything, I think you want to go Horizon, which will give us more CDR again to try to make it so our W spam is even more effective. I'm going to go grab the blue buff. I can definitely assassinate people super easily. I missed my ability, that's pretty bad. Like, imagine if I had my ability here, how good it could have been. Oh, you hit me. Nice. Well played. Hit Kaisa, go in, kill Kaisa, walk away from this guy. Doesn't really deal that much, but this proc will. That did 500. I'm, I'm not going to be able to get her if I can't get another auto attack off. Because even if I land my next W, it's too late. So I can't get them. Rise and Focus is now in base, though. It's actually a really big deal that when I was uh, going for the dragon there, when Amumu went in, I missed my W previously. And you have to wait a really long time. Seven seconds. If the whole entire enemy team was there the fight could have been over like uh they could have killed my mumu and left before my next w is up you you really can't just randomly use it and miss it that's so bad yeah if i went berserker greaves i could get e evolve if you really wanted to do that i don't think getting q evolve would be very easy if you're gonna go this ap kaisa build though how much damage do we deal 40 percent missing when we detonate it so, I mean, at this point, if, if somebody's below half, they kind of just die, really. Uh, I'll shoot it, but... 
Did 720 damage. I feel like I've had like permanent red buffs this game. One auto does it. I'm gonna die though, for sure. I tried using my W to finish that guy, couldn't. The reason why I knew Leona would die no matter what is because uh, she had the, the four stacks, so my fifth auto would just instantly kill. It's Shadow Flame time at this point. Should I even keep my Dark Seal? I don't even know. Oh. She really wanted to get to the wave. Oh. I think Fiora's dead? One. Oh. See ya. One more dragon until we have soul, too. Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna TP behind this guy. I wonder if I can defend this turret. I don't want to lose it. See ya. Let's see if I can one shot the melees. Okay, well, I just got Nami W or Nami E, and I still didn't even one shot it, so. We can only one shot casters. One shotting the melees is just not possible, I guess. Oh. W did not land. Almost have my item. Am I gonna walk into Leona here? No. No! It missed! Oh, you got me. Although, you can't really follow that up, I know. It's not very easy to do. There probably isn't gonna be many team fights, is there? Because I kind of got too far ahead, so for them to contest objectives is gonna be rough. I think I'm just gonna go buy my item at this point. Get our Shadow Flame ready. What we contest at this point is we're looking at how much damage will my W deal versus squishy targets? Because squishy targets normally don't build offensive. Enemy AD carry, enemy, I mean, mid lane is whatever. We'll just pretend that this Kais is like the mid laner. Um, if you're playing solo queue, if you're playing versus Ari, Orianna, Cinder, and stuff, they might build a Banshees, but sometimes people don't. And like, I'm a person that normally doesn't build offensive. So even though I'm really ahead, I can still kind of like gate how much damage uh, facing another person on equal items would be because most likely they would still be just as strong as they are now. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You got me, I guess. Holy, that was insane. The Rel tried... Oh my god, I'm actually dying. No, I missed. Dude, I hit three of them. I hit three of them with my W. That was so crazy how much damage it did. That That is the new, like, uh, every single champion has, like, a. this is what your goal should be. AP Kai'Sa in the past was you need to land your W and reset it over and over again. The new Kai'Sa is, if you're going to build her AP, is going to be trying to hit those multi-man Ws on, like, three people as, at once. That's the new uh, thing. That was, I think, my first time doing it all game, too. Because they, they were pretty grouped together to try to kill me. Oh. Dang, if Yor could just live a little bit longer, I could go for them. Oh? Oh, God. Oh, goodness. I missed everybody! <laughs> I, I missed literally everyone! Oh my god. I can't move. 
Okay, well, I tried, dude. It, it's so close to killing actually everybody with my W. But the cooldown is just too long. Uh, and this is with so much CDR items, too. Remember that CDR kind of has diminishing returns. So, like, even going more CDR than this, in case you're, like, thinking, you should just build a Cosmic Drive. It It is not... It's going to go from 7.3 to, like, 6.9. Right? And as nice of a number that is, it's not substantial enough to, like, change the outcome of that fight, most likely. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so it would either be, like, a Void Staff or a Death Cap at this point. They don't have too much magic resist, so I'm pretty sure the Death Cap is going to be the choice. Our damage to champions on our horizon is uh, 3,000. 3,000 on Ludens as well. 2.3 on the Nashers. Edge of Night on uh, this this uh, guy. Oh my god, the reason why that did so much is because they were CC'd. In case you were wondering, so... Because uh, they were CC'd... When your teammates CC people, you apply plasma to them. So. Vid win. <laughs> well played, Pekin. So yeah, that was my first game of it. I'm going to try another game. Hopefully it can be less of a stomp because I, I want to know what it's like even when being a little bit further behind than that. But definitely got to showcase what it can do. I'm glad I reached basically full build. I got as many items as I, I wanted to see what it would feel like at, at four or five. Reaching six, full build at that point doesn't really matter. Reaching at least four items I think is good. Um, so damage dealt is going to be the highest, of course. I don't know if that even really matters to look at, but did more damage than my whole team combined and the enemy team all combined, but not everybody combined together. I did, definitely did not. So anyways, I'm going to try game two of the new Kaisa. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned if you want to see another game. Bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to game two of the Kaisa. Playing versus a Cinder this time, and this time it is a custom game versus just viewers that I invited uh, in hopes that it could be a little bit more of an even game, I hope, and not like as stompy, because I, I do want to see what it kind of feels like. I can still get fed and stuff, but not like just completely crushing my lane to the point that I just automatically win. Uh, and we're playing versus a Cinder, so this should be challenging. Remember that... Uh, until I get wave clear, my Q is pretty useless. In fact, who knows? Maybe when this comes out, people actually do like three point Q into W max because it might be kind of bad that uh, when you have a bu bunch of points in your W and you're versus a mage, you'll like never be able to do anything to them. Um, I'm just trying to respect this guy's harass a little bit. I got level 2 advantage. She's just backing away. I'm not going to go too far because um, I think her QCD is low enough that I could get punished. So. I tried sidestepping to the left. It didn't work. She got a good hit on me. I'm going to kill the minion, then press W because sometimes it lands. And if it doesn't, it's kind of chill. Normally, uh, with Kai'Sa, you could run out of mana, but... Uh, that's when you would go like tier or longsword start and we have Doran's ring so we can we can occasionally fish for for a hit Try dodging it doesn't land Tried dot what doesn't land My dodge didn't work I'm just gonna uh, play pretty aggressive so I don't run away I dodge that ability I miss that one this is how I imagine the matchup should go, by the way. This is exactly how I envision it for the early game. Although I have been getting hit by some stuff that I'm sure that I, I could maybe sometimes dodge, but...
Oh, I missed that? Okay. Okay, 22 to 17. We're CSing pretty well. Uh, Syndra kill threat isn't that much. I'm gonna put another point into my Q. I think two point Q into W max sounds fine. So this is chill. Oh, there's a fight going on and I didn't rotate to it. Maybe I can do it now. I'm coming. Hmm, he has ghost. That's kind of awkward. This guy's probably gonna just run away too, right? I'm gonna predict her. F wow. Nice sidestep, I guess. I really thought that I did a good job of predicting her uh, flash over the wall because it was obvious what she was going to do, but I missed. Kind of looked like she sidestepped it. It was like not even a miss. She just had enough time to see that I did it and dodge it. So we'll play it. If I didn't have uh, two points in Q there, all those minions probably would have... Oh man, and Graves died because he's trying to get to the bottom scuttle crab. That's rough. But this is good. This is what I want. I want to be in a losing scenario because I really want to see what a more realistic game is like. Although they do have an, an Evelyn support. Honestly, it's probably not that bad. If, if everybody just farms up and she just reaches level 6, level 6 Evelyn kill threat is going to be gigantic uh, versus our team who is very squishy. And also, Evelyn is just irritating as hell to face because you can't ever see her so oh, even though it's it sounds kind of weird i think that it it probably is not that bad of a pick especially because i don't even want to build any defensive items and they have some uh really easy to play champions like malphite and stuff and i don't want to build banshees but it might be something that i have to build man grave sound effects is so loud Cinder's gonna gank you guys. I tried pinging a little bit in advance, but I don't know if it was enough. He has no flash. Oh god, dude. Oh, do they live? Yo, nice. That's really good. Catch her on rotation back mid because she has to come back. She's probably dead here. I'm going to just auto attack to death. Whenever you leave lane to go like roam somewhere, remember that you have to get back to lane. And if the mid lane, me, is missing, you should just go the safe way every single time. If she just went this way, I would have had a much harder time killing her. So that's the way that you just counter that. And that's versus like almost any pick inside the entire game. If I was playing like Orianna, I would I would do the same thing. I'm on the way, I guess. We're trying to abuse vision, but I feel like we just should have walked in because I don't know how fast he does it. My wave is crashing soon. I need to go get it. I hope you can just do that on your own. Just W her for a tiny bit of poke. Uh, one thing that I realized is that you can actually get your W Evolve sooner than finishing a, an entire Ludens. With a Doran's Ring, all you need is Lost Chapter and Hextech Alternator. So that's like 600 gold less than what you need uh, for the Ludens entirely. So that's really nice. You, you can get your W Evolve a bit faster than expected around... If you're on pace... It's around probably like 9 to 10 minutes to have both items. Also, where is my item that I want? There. How much do I need? I need 15.50? So I almost have it now. Oh, don't all in me, please, Syndra. She doesn't have her double ball yet? Yeah, she doesn't. Ow, that hurt. Oh. Okay, good. Didn't get hit. Oh, I'm super dead. Dude, I just want the wave. I don't even care that I died. Okay, I have enough. It's okay. 
Nice. Okay, we're on. This is the spike point. Wow, you actually get this pretty fast, honestly. This increases the viability in my head by a, a massive amount. If you can get this this early on... Uh, another thing is that I have played a few more games of it. The first game you guys saw was legitimately my very first try. But uh, I realized that with just these items, you one-shot the wave. And it's level 3. It's not even level 4. That's really, 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 really broken. So that's probably going to get nerfed if this is not a bug. Um, this wave clear is probably the, one of the most broken wave clear now in the entire game. Uh, so we'll see what Riot decides to do next. If this was a bug, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like a bug because uh, the bug is that it goes through champions, but it doesn't refund it. Like, that doesn't even sound right. You're, you know, I don't feel like it could be a bug. Like, that's insane. Like, my, my laning phase is so much easier to play now. I can almost just ignore the laning phase entirely and just... And just always just go for the wave. Oh, I missed the plate. I thought that I got it. Dang it. I didn't even notice that. I should probably check this brush to see if there's like a pink ward in it. It's AP Malphite, so he's going to deal a lot of damage. We just W the entire wave again to clear it all. God, and I hit her too because she's standing in it. One more W kills her probably because I can just ulti on top of her. I missed it, though. I should have done it from out of Fog of War. Through a wall. If you, if you throw skill shots through walls, um... Holy, I can't believe that I had to do that one more extra auto attack. Uh... You can use your W... And then, ult, or no, you can ulti in W, and you can cast it while you're ulting. So that's what I did there to find an angle that's kind of unique, that's more difficult to dodge. So that's what I did to uh, secure that kill. That being said, oh, I really missed minions. I'm so dead here. Oh my god, you're trying to save me? I can't live, but thank you, I guess. There's, there's literally no way. Okay, we buy boots. I buy a dark seal. Should I build a banshees? I almost feel like it's necessary versus this style of team comp. The roar healing kind of going hard right now. She's got a lot of stacks from that. She's going to go for the plate. I probably can't stop that because I'm too slow. Evelyn's going to be missing for the rest of the game. God, I hope she doesn't just sit mid and camp me. That would be so annoying. I should have bought a pink ward just to like have it somewhere. At least I push so damn fast that I could maybe get away with even if I'm being camped. I can just do this and just walk away. So ridiculous. I'm going to rotate top to whatever this is. I think it's faster to get the blast cone. One auto attack on this guy does it. I don't think I can get that guy. Unless my W lands. But I don't even think it would kill probably. Aurora can just go mid to farm now. I guess I can just farm all of this. I wonder if Blackfire Torch might be better than the Ludens. The Ludens is bursty, but Blackfire Torch might help with CSing more because it would cause the burn on every minion, no matter what, instead of having to wait for the Ludens cooldown. I didn't really think about that.
Oh. I don't think Aurora... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She tried. Nice try. Is Kha'Zix gonna invade? We might be able to fight here. I don't have ult. Sorry, bro. I can't get that guy. You can't kill me alone. Just don't get it by stun. I'm fine. You you can try to kill me, but it's probably not going to work without Syndra assisting her. Azrael's probably dead. All right, I'll just do it. I know that you have ult though. I didn't really want to use my uh, ulti because. It's kind of a long CD, but it's probably the only way to get on top of her and kill her. Kha'Zix is uh, on the way to Jin. Dude, Jin's is trying to kill the Kha'Zix. He just caught him. Oh! He's gonna live? He actually is going to live because I, I didn't commit further. My bad, I guess. Oh my god, that sucks. Well, see you later. She messed up her flash over the wall. Unlucky. Malphite's going to be an issue this game. For sure. Oh, no! Can I save you? Oh wow, she dodged that. Well played. Just sidestepped it. I would like to farm mid, please. Nice kill. Eve could be here, but I don't really care. Hopefully she just doesn't stop me to be- oh. Uh, Kai'Sa W reveals stealth, so... Should be pretty easy to... Kill that guy, even though he's Kha'Zix. I just use my W again. Goes through everybody. Good damage. I'll probably go bot to match the Syndra now. I'll sell my Dorans. I don't need any more. Just get the farm first. Grab this sword. Walking towards you, sidestep immediately, just back and forth, see if it lands, doesn't land it. Bummer. I was maybe going to ulti this all in. I feel like I deal enough at this point. Hmm, Evelyn's missing, huh? Oh no, she's mid. Just kidding. Kha'Zix built magic resist, that's what I'm looking at. I'm just looking to see if anybody bought MR, because it I might need to go like a void staff or something. God, what insane wave player that is, man. Just so crazy. I'm on the way mid to this four person fight. Malphite tried to kill Jin, failed. Probably don't get anybody. Oh, I hit Eve. That's funny. Hit Ezreal. I what? I thought I thought that I had him. Uh, I don't get one shot by that. One auto should do it. She had four stacks on her, so. Oh, I hit her. Wasn't enough though. All right, cool. Yeah, still feels kind of ridiculous. Uh, buy Nasher's Tooth. Next item will probably be like, Gliding Jewel.
I want to make it so the people who built, like, Merc Treads and stuff don't... I don't deal, like, absolutely nothing to them. I guess we have enough CDR, right? Dang it, dude. I messed up the cannon. I'm so dumb. Why did I do that? I'm kind of sad that I can never double W to, like, kill people anymore. And that I just have to poke them and just do poke over and over again. Like, shit, my, my team fighting is so good, but my, my 1v1 potential feels a lot worse. Oh, I missed. I feel like I'm about to walk into somebody, no? She dodged my ability. That sucks. I really don't want to use my, um, ult. I want to save it for somebody else. Yeah, can we check the dragon? I can uh, try to stop them from doing it if they're on it. Do we have any wards? A pink ward? Oh, Kha'Zix is here. Did he just leave? Oh yeah, he did. I was hoping that maybe he was still doing the golems. Oh, there is an Evelyn behind us? Trying to one-shot Graves, but can't. Alright. A. Uh... <laughs> Dude, I actually don't know if I can kill this Malphite. <laughs> okay, I hit both of them. Big W? Oh my god, bro. My W was on all three of them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it hit all three. When they're all clumped up like that, it's insane. That did 1,000 damage. The reason why I did a 1,000 there is 100% because of second skin. In case you're wondering. Uh... I guess my teammate CC'd her twice, which applies the plasma, so... That was probably the reason. Okay, well, I have no mana, so good luck me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm just dead here. I almost have enough mana to press my W. I didn't use my Q or my E, but I swear, even if I used either of them, I don't know if it would have changed the outcome of that fight, because my Q damage is, uh, really bad. It's not evolved or anything. So I figured just don't even use it. I was just gonna try to go for the wave and wait for W. I was like, five mana off. Or something. Uh, after this, Horizon Focus will give us CDR. I think Shadow Flame. Maybe we try a more of a uh, uh, AP heavy build just to see how it feels. I always think Nashor's Tooth is probably necessary, but uh, let's also buy a blue trinket. I really want to make sure that if they do Baron, that I'm able to contest it because I think that's one of my uh, best strong points now. It almost feels like they're walking into it. Okay, they're not. Never mind. They are not over there. Eep. Let's kill that guy. Kha'Zix. Wait, where is Rift Herald going? Can you not go all the way bot lane, bro? <laughs> what was that? I don't think Rift Herald is supposed to do that. 
Oh my god, don't tell me I'm gonna get caught. Okay, good, I'm not. Oh, I got a double W? Oh, that guy got one shot? Dang it, man. Oh, I missed that too. Eve is gonna try to fight me. I already feel like she's on the way. Oh no, never mind. She won for Jin. Did she won v one him. No, she don't. She can't sidestep my ability. So she's gone. I, I kind of want to stay until everybody respawns and try to like fight them all, even though it's probably kind of ballsy to do that. What do I buy? Hmm. <laughs> Very awkward reset. I guess I'll just do something like this for now. I, I will just sell my Medjai's if I lose it. Okay, how can I start a fight where it causes the entire enemy team to just group up? But I don't get caught out by like a Malphite ult and get one shot before I even play the game. Oh, this is good. Malphite spawning. Don't kill that guy. I'm gonna reach level 16 here. Oh, bards? Yes, bard. Yes. This is actually so good. Does Malphite have ult? I hope not. Is this a pentacle? Glad they didn't fight me back when I flashed in. I am pretty weak, actually. Dude, everybody's sidestepping my ability. They know. Oh, I think uh, Cinder. Oh, a Aurora. I land these. Okay, well, I I do land these. I just don't deal enough. I have my item now, right? Horizon or Shadow Flame? You know what? I think I just need a tiny, tiny bump up on the lower CDR. So let's just build the Horizon, I think. I'm going to sell Medjai's for Death Cap and then we're full build. I'm going to TP mid immediately. I want to join this. A little bit of damage on that guy. Oh dang, the enemy team's not really that grouped anymore. Okay, that was sick, actually. I, I can't get anybody here. Why'd I just W that way? Hello? Yeah, can you guys get me? I feel like I deserve to die for the most embarrassing W of all time. I think that I just, like, for some reason, my brain thought that my E was my W for a second. Don't know why, so I was just trying to run away. <laughs> and I pressed my W instead. Let's buy a blue pot. Is this Dragon Soul? No. Cinder kill Jin. Evelyn has this like shield thing, which is annoying. I wish that she had like uh, the damage support item instead. Let's Baron. When everybody's respawn, let's go do Baron and see if the enemy team will like walk in to fight us. Any neutral objective fight, I feel like I'm gonna be super good at as long as I, I don't get like immediately caught out in the beginning. Did 
W range is so ridiculous. <sighs> okay, cool. They're pretty grouped, honestly. Are they not just all sitting in there? <laughs> I accidentally stole red buff almost. Super close. I missed my W because he jumped in. Oh my goodness. We can still fight. Fight as a team. I'm gonna die here. Oh, am I not? Oh my god, she just has to press R on me. Yeah, I'm dead. Farewell, crew world. I went too deep. I'm still so squishy versus all the other uh, stronger characters. We lost the team fight? Oh, yeah, we did. Did we? Yo, Bard, you got this. Q? Auto? Oh, she buffered her E when he she got stunned. If I sell Magi's? Deals 48% 40, missing. Another Gathering Storm proc. Nice. 48 8, AP. The Death Cap Spike is going to be... Probably something that brings my AP more like 750 or something. My W basically deals like 900 at this point. With the Plasma included. That's how much damage it deals. I guess I'll just farm mid. Why, I don't even get the cannon? That's so sad. Evelyn. Yo, <laughs> I'm here too. He'll ulti away, but as long as she dies, that's... I will help you, Aurora. I don't know if you can even beat that guy. I don't feel like you deal enough. Oh, I hit her, but I didn't kill. She's literally 1 HP. Malphite's gonna try ulting in, probably. Kha'Zix is here, too. I made it so he made it so he's not stealth, though. Outsmited him, just barely. Well played. Didn't hit that guy. I guess he eat away. How much money do I need? I actually need an another 1,000 gold to be able to afford decap. Kind of far away. Maybe maybe the game will end before I even reach it. There's a bunch of people dead right now. Is she gonna dodge everything? Oh, my lasagnas. I really need the kill, please. I, I have decap, no? Actually, I don't yet. Let me just get those minions first. Now I do. Thank God I didn't get stopped. Okay, that's more than 700 by a lot. Holy. <laughs> 700 damage-ish. 150 per plasma, so 450. All right, so it deals like over a thousand a hit. I don't even have a blue pot too. I can get over uh, 900 AP for sure. <laughs> That's all I got. Dude, the cooldown is so long now. All right, we can go in now. I wanted to see how much damage I could deal with full build. And now we know. I could still die, though. I say that, like, let's just go end, but if Cinder can one-shot me. What the? Oh, my goodness. Watch this. Oh, that actually didn't deal that much. Never mind. Don't watch. 
I, I thought that this was just going to kill him because right now it does 66% of somebody's missing HP. Like, it shreds. It's ridiculous. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, I didn't hit him with my W. Oh! Oh, I'm dead. All right, end. Please, please end. Otherwise, I have to wait a whole entire minute before I respawn. Okay, good. So, yeah, that was the second game of it. You know, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed seeing what possibly could turn into a huge meta if this change goes through without any changes. But there, I don't think that there's any way that Riot will not reduce the amount of damage dealt to at least minions. But hopefully they don't get it to the point that she's just not viable at all. The reason why, the, the what I would do to make it viable but not OP is that at level 9, she should be able to one-shot back wave with this, a, a good amount of AP. And that's it. Uh, because that's what every single mage can do. Ah, but one-shotting back wave from so far away is kind of broken though. Yeah, I guess maybe you'd have to lower it even lower than that. Because like champions like Ari can one-shot back wave. But the thing is... They have to be, like, in range of it, and Kai'Sa can do it from so far away. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Farewell. Bye.